Cool, Kenny, nice to, to have a, a catch up with you as you keep continue your, your busy schedule, there's no doubt about that, but just look, having an assessment on those early fixtures that you've played, what's pleased you most? The, the intensity we play that, we, we, we feel the, the attitude and application, what we've gone into the game with, um, we've repeated everything we, we've done in training and they've done what's been expected. Have you found straight away that it's a, a good group because you've uh, you know brought a few people in into their existing squad, have you found they've knitted them well? Yeah, they, they seem like they've all been welcomed really well which is uh, as ex expected um, and all enjoying themselves and um, enjoying the, the hard work. Does it make it a bit easier for, for you as the management team when there are games in between hard, you know, sometimes double, triple sessions of training? Yeah, we, we want to see what we've been doing on the grass, we want to see it being played out and uh, we, we can still still improve on what we're doing and look at different things and um, see what they're picking up and um, at the moment we're in a good place. It's one of those times of the year as well when uh, niggles and strains and pulls come into it because of the hard work they've done. You've got a few that haven't been able to get game time yet. I don't want to go through them all because there's quite a few, but one or two of the, the, the new signings have, have missed out. Where are you up to with, with those? Yeah, they'll be back very soon. We're looking forward to, to seeing them play as, as you are. And um, as soon as uh, as soon as they're 100% ready, because we're not going to risk them at, at this point in time, we're, we need to make sure they're ready for Rochdale and to start the season. Yeah, how important is it that you, know, you don't push them too quickly? Yeah, what we don't want them to do is come out, train, and, and then break down again and then be out for uh, a long time and have an injury when, we're, when, when the games are important more important than they are now, the games are important now but to, to prepare for the, for the league but once it starts we want everyone fit. Just a couple of, of your own who've got longer term injuries but I'm pretty sure one's nearly coming to the end of it in Rio and BC, where are you with him and, and Zach Williams, how are they improving? Yeah, Zach's, um, Zach's tra training, Rio's still a bit bit away but Zach's come work really hard and he's he's not far off, he's, he's running now so we're, we're looking for, for him to be fit to to be involved in the in the first game hopefully and if not um, not too too long afterwards. Well you know what supporters are like, you know what we're like as the media man. We want to know if you can let us know anything that's developing in terms of incomings. You have got quite a few come in outfield players. What's your latest on your goalkeeping situation? Because you still really only got your one experienced player and one young one. What, where are you two with that? Yeah, um, we've got Tom, Tom and David doing really well, and we, we're still looking to to bring someone in for some more competition, um, a bit more experience than Tom to, to compete with with Dave, and um, then we'll see what we what we will do with Tom, whether he stays here playing twenty threes or whether he needs a loan in some men's football. So we'll have that that option if and when another one comes in. With your one that you're looking at, are you, are you on the right way? Are you, are you confident that you know it isn't going to be a a last minute decision or you'll get let down, you will have that your competition for, for the goalkeeping place. No, we're gonna we're gonna definitely have competition for it. We're actually waiting at the moment, some of uh, our clubs being injured and we we've had a conversation now we just have to wait and um, see what the injury is and see whether we, the la the lad who we want can come out on loan and um, we have to take from there. Now if that doesn't quite come off we we'll, we'll be in looking for someone else to, to fill that role. Have you still got other areas that you know if the budget allows it, you'd, you'd like to sort of bring in. Yeah, we're, we're still looking. We're still looking. Um, uh, I won't give away what, what positions, but every position, if, if the budget allows and players are good enough, we will be in the market. So um, we want as much competition as we possibly can. And again, going back to when we get players in, um, we it could free up some some of our lads to get some valuable experience to, to go out on loan and um, play men's football. Some of the the younger ones. One decision that has been made in the last few days that you've handed Luke Offord the, the captaincy at 22 years of age. That's a great honour for him. He's closing in on 100 games as well. I think he typifies what this football club is all about. Just reasons why you've decided it's Luke Offord. 
Ish, he sets examples by um, consistently playing well, and we we feel that he's he's played and he's he's a level above this this league and sets the example, and we, we'd like others to follow. And it's on and off the pitch, and he's um, he, as I said, we're, he shows examples of how he plays and his attitude and everyday training, and um, we want him to be an example for younger ones and and other players in the team to follow. We've seen some terrific captains here. There's no doubt about that over many years they've gone on and gone on to the highest level is that one thing that you and Alex and Belly and the other managerial staff are hoping that can just spark Luke off to the next level as well yeah we, we want him to we want him to kick on and go and get a move like other players have got moves from this football club but uh, at this moment in time he needs to he needs to kick on to a, another level and, and become the, the best defender in the in this division that's what we're looking for Luke to do and um, and then we'll go from there well you're getting ready to step up in terms of who you're going to be playing in opposition coming up the likes of Barnsley and the Rotherhams, the West Broms as well. So what do you want to gauge now out of this next set of fixtures, having already completed a few? We need to work on, there's a lot of things to work on. It's, um, there's a, when we're pressing, when we're dropping off, when to go and getting relationships within the team and um, and just understanding when and how to manage uh, manage games. So, um, for example, at Maxfield, we, we conceded with 10 seconds ago and uh, we, didn't, we didn't think the shape was quite right with with uh, five minutes ago and we were a bit too wide open. So it's sort of, they, they were young lads, um, the, the lads obviously, uh, our kids grow with more experience than that, but there's still a long way to go and what we need to work on and build those relationships. So you're well satisfied with the way it's going, but you're going to be after him more because Alex is actually pointing out, didn't he? He wanted you to be more ruthless, even though you're six up after 60 minutes or so. You can't take that out, you've got to keep that intensity going. Is that a key? thing that you, you instilling in your players yeah it's the intensity when it went to but also against Barnsley and against the Rotherhams the, there's intensity in, in getting the boys fit and doing it against kids go for, for 90 minutes and then there's sort of using your brain and listen it's time not to go we, we might have to sit in and we might have to counter attack and there's all the all, all different um, situations in a game that you, you might have to drop into or go to in, in different ways how to score a goal and as you said after 60 minutes if you think it was six 0 and now we had a we had really really good chances to to practice goal scoring and what we're doing in the final third, which I thought the, the from four I should say attack midfield, the, the wide players and the sense forward all got involved in goals and assists. So they yeah, they done well, but we wanted them really to be ruthless and keep practicing like a, a finishing practice in what we do in training. And just just on that on, on the, the the front man scoring goals, there's a couple of goals for a couple of players as well. You know. That's important, isn't it? You know, I know you want goals from everywhere, but strikers just thrive on that, don't they? Whether it be a friendly game, a behind closed doors game, or a competitive game. Yeah, well, again, we we sit down and we analyse what and reflect what we what we've done. So we we sat down the day after and we sort of went through the after the 60 minutes, the, the final third entries and before and and what they were doing and how they how they can become better and and score more goals and the the jobs uh, then the, the players that we spoke about the. Job Jobs in the team to score and assist goals, and um, the rest of it is a sort of given. They're working hard, they're closing down, and that's going to be a given. So again, they had a good opportunity, and again, it was a good performance from the from the whole 